Imagine being on your dream anniversary trip, surrounded by nature's beauty, when suddenly your life is turned upside down by a terrifying bear attack. This is exactly what happened to Jacqueline Perry, a young and energetic doctor from Cambridge, Canada. Jacqueline and her husband had planned a romantic getaway in Boreal Forest to celebrate their fourth wedding anniversary. What started out as a peaceful camp and hike in the woods turned into a nightmare that they will never forget. Jacqueline had always loved hiking and exploring the outdoors with her husband. As an experienced hiker, she had spent countless hours trekking through the wilderness along with their part-time scout leader husband. But they had never encountered anything like this before. Deep in the wilderness of the Boreal Forest, surrounded by towering trees and rugged terrain, Jacqueline Perry and her husband kayaked their way to a majestically beautiful campsite. It was a beautiful night, and both nature enthusiasts were excited to explore the breathtaking landscape that lay ahead. As Jacqueline strolled along the hiking trail, she was captivated by the stunning scenery around her. The mountains loomed majestically in the distance, and the autumn leaves were a riot of colors. Little did she know that her adventure would take a terrifying turn. As she walked along the trail while her husband was preparing dinner at the campsite, enjoying the stunning scenery around her, Jacqueline and Mark suddenly heard a, a rustling in the bushes. Their hearts raced as they tried to determine what it could be. Was it a moose, a deer, or something much more dangerous? Before they could even act, a massive grizzly bear burst out of the bushes, charging straight at them. And what's worse is that the bear seemed predatory. In a split second, the bear attacked Jacqueline. Her heart pounded in her chest as the bear locked eyes with her. She froze, terrified, as the bear let out a deafening roar. Jacqueline tried to back away, but she was too slow. The bear's giant claws swiped at her, tearing her clothes and leaving deep gashes in her skin. She could feel the heat of its breath as it growled and snarled, its eyes blazing with fury, dragging her into the bushes. As Mark stumbled backward, he realized that the woman he loved was in serious danger. The couple had heard about grizzly bear attacks before, but they had never imagined that they would be the target of one. The bear continued to charge at Jacqueline, its eyes fixed on her with a look of intense anger. Mark knew that he needed to act fast if he wanted to see his wife survive. Considering he had experience as a scout leader, suddenly Mark remembered something that he had read about grizzly black bears. Bears have a tendency to fear the superior, so in layman's terms, if you look bigger than the bear, then the bear will start feeling a sense of fear and back off. With a surge of hope, Mark realized that he might be able to use this to their advantage. Therefore, he did everything in his power to look bigger than the bear. He spread out his arms and legs in order to look bigger and tougher. Meanwhile, panic set in on a very wounded Jacqueline who frantically searched for something, anything that she could use to defend herself from the bear. She spotted a large rock nearby and lunged for it, hoping to use it to fend off the bear. The bear was almost upon her again, its hot breath on her face. With a surge of adrenaline, Jacqueline swung the rock at the bear's head, striking it with a loud thud. The bear roared in anger and swiped at her again, but she was able to dodge its claws this time. Simultaneously, Mark lunged at the bear, put it in a headlock, and started pounding it violently. This truly was a match of man versus bear. Jacqueline and Mark knew they couldn't fight the bear forever. They needed to find a way to escape before it was too late. The bear growled and snarled, its powerful jaws snapping as it tried to reach them. That's when Mark did the unexpected. Even though he was covered in blood-filled wounds from limb to limb, he regained his strength and seized the opportunity. Mark pulled out a Swiss army knife and stabbed the fierce beast more than five to six times. The bear then roared in agony, circled the site for a second, and then ran into the forest. 
But was this it? Was the horrifying episode over? Jacqueline was lying unconscious and severely wounded on the ground. She needed help on an urgent basis. Considering that this was a remote destination, getting help was somewhat close to impossible. The only option was an airlift, but that was going to take hours, and it was a risk that Mark was not willing to take. Looking at the condition of Jacqueline, Mark couldn't bring himself to just sit around and wait. So he picked the love of his life up in his arms and he ran as fast as he could towards the kayak. Mark knew that he couldn't stop. He needed to keep moving and keep pushing himself to his limits if he wanted his wife to survive. Meanwhile, thoughts were rolling through a somewhat knocked out Jacqueline's mind. She thought about her family and friends and how much she wanted to see them again. How she wanted to get back safe and sound to her husband as quickly as possible. She refused to let this bear take her life. Finally, after what felt like hours of running and paddling, Mark's cries for help were heard by two hikers from Pennsylvania. And, to Mark's surprise, the hikers had spotted the bear before, too. Together, the three men teamed up and paddled for another 90 minutes. Their arms burning with exhaustion, they kept going, knowing that a person's life was at stake. Then a miracle happened. They spotted a ranger boat in the distance, which not only had an officer on board, but a doctor, too. When a severely wounded Mark got his wife the help that she needed, Jacqueline collapsed in a heap, her body shaking with adrenaline and fear. She was battered and bruised, and Mark's worst fear came to life. Despite his heroic efforts, he had lost his wife. An emotionally shattered and physically broken Mark was rushed to a nearby hospital within three hours of this event. Although his condition was stable, he had suffered multiple brutal injuries, punctured veins, and deep wounds. Some were more emotional than physical. The doctors wanted to start treating Mark right away before his fate turned out like his wife's. However, they had to wait to ensure that there was no risk of infection. Mark turned out luckier than Jacqueline and got the care that he needed. He underwent surgeries and physical therapy, pushing himself to regain his strength and mobility. It was a difficult journey, but he knew that he was lucky to be alive. Mark's road to recovery was a long and painful one. He had suffered serious injuries in the attack, including deep gashes in his skin, a broken arm, and 300 stitches. With the help of family and friends, Mark slowly began to heal and even went on to help the police look for the bear that took his wife's life. In the months that followed the attack, Mark reflected on his experience and what it had taught him. He realized that life was fragile and precious, and that every moment was a gift. He also knew that he was stronger than he ever thought possible. For this, he was even awarded the Star of Courage. Jacqueline and her husband's story is a strong reminder of the resilience displayed by the human spirit. It is a testament to the strength and determination that we all have within us, even in the darkest of times. It is a story of survival, of hope, and of the incredible power of the human will. Jacqueline Perry's encounter with the grizzly bear was a harrowing experience, but it was also a powerful lesson in survival. Through their sheer determination and resourcefulness, they were able to overcome incredible odds. Even though Jacqueline's end was not as fortunate as Mark's, there's something we can all learn from this. Their story is a reminder that life is full of unexpected challenges, but that we have the strength and resilience to face them head on. We may not know what's in store for us, but we can take comfort in knowing that we have it within us to take all challenges head on. While going through the ups and downs that life throws at us, let us remember Jacqueline's story and the lessons that it teaches us. Let us stay strong and stay focused. Thank you for watching our channel. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.